In this video, we're going to unbox Lord Inquisitor Kyria Draxus. Sci fi wargamers, helping you explore the hobby. Greetings, hobby fans. My name's Marcel, and it's my mission to help you explore the hobby. So, in today's video, we're going to unbox the Ordo Xenos Lord Inquisitor Kyria. Draxus. Let's get on with it. Okay, here we have the box of Lord Inquisitor, Kyria Draxus. I've paid £18 for this one, and I'm going to take the shrink wrap off before we proceed, so we don't get this glare. I'll start taking... Well, oh, what's this? We have a note. Dearest viewer, if you enjoy the content on this channel, then please consider joining the Patreon page. The link to which is in the description below. I will love you forever. Well, that is true. Anyway, let's proceed. I wonder if that was some Games Workshop that put that note on there. Okay, so this is Lord Inquisitor Kyria Draxus of the Ordo Xenos. We have the new Warhammer logo here. Well, I say new, as it's recent, as in the last five years. Anything in the last five years is recent to me. We don't, however, have the new logo at the top there. Uh, the new logo I actually prefer over this one, I might add. You may disagree. If you do, let us know in the comments below and tell us why. Uh, one Citadel miniature. Here is the side of the box. Showing the side of the miniature there with a batch code, I believe. Same for this side. And the end. The end has rather a few warnings. Not for the 0 to 3 year olds. Um, you could be 4, but also please try and be 12 plus. I don't know what those warnings mean. Okay, on to the rear. The Relentless Eradicator of Necrons. She absolutely will not stop until every last Necron has been eradicated. We can see her pet bat, as I call it, the dragon Shang, I believe his name is. Shows off her power fist, her wonderful purple cape, her shuriken catapult dirge song, and the lovely portrait there with the skull on the side. Is the skull from the um, Drakari beast? There's like a beast handler with a blue beast. I do wonder if it's one of those. Please let me know, because I'm not an expert. It just reminds me of it. The colours you will need to paint your miniature, if you wish to do it in the box art style. And down here tells us it was manufactured by Games Workshop in the UK, up in Nottingham. So let's open this up and have a look what's inside. So we have our, 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 our instruction manual here and the miniature itself in one of these lovely plastic trays, which I always think we need to use for something else. They seem such a shame to throw away. But first, let's have a look through this interesting looking instruction manual here. So on the front, we see the miniature. So let's read this first. We do have to pay attention. Some nice simple looking instructions here. We even have colour coded assembly points, which I'm always a fan of. It doesn't fold out, it does have the expensive staple version. And down here it shows us the colours we need again. And in here we even have a data sheet. Lord Inquisitor Kyria Draxus. She is a power level of four. Uh, she has a move of six inches, a weapon skill of two plus, and a predictable ballistic skill of three plus. She has a fair amount of wounds there with five. Dirge Singer is an 18 inch assault two weapon, and the power fist is a double strength minus three toughness weapon, which does D3 damage. 
There are a few extra abilities, but I won't go into those here. These are the foreign versions of the rules. You can have it in French, Spanish, German, and Italian, if you so wish. Anyway, let's move on to the miniature itself. Let's see if I can get it out of this packaging without damaging it. It always seems to be a skill in itself. I don't mind damaging the clamp. Oh, really did a runner there, didn't it? If you wanted to keep that, I have managed to keep it intact, I think. Um, standard 32 millimeter base, I believe. Round base, I should add. What's the date on that? 2013 is the date on that round base. I have a fascination with base dates, I don't know why. And here is the sprue itself. Let's see if we can get that into focus. Seagulls outside are very interested in this miniature. I think it might make sense to turn this over. So down here is the face. Caused a bit of an uproar at the time of release, I remember. People saying she was ugly, although I feel it's probably just the paint job. She does have a wonderful necklace there. Moving on to the power plant for the backpack with interesting inquisitorial devices. Uh, the power fist here, which looks lovely. It looks like an old Eldar power glove, I should say. I think that's fantastic with a inquisitorial shield there. I can get that in shot. And then the shuriken catapult down here, which is fantastic. You're allowed to use it as it does have a purity seal on it. So there's a sign of purity. So no one will be throwing you in the heretic jail using this one maybe a leg down here with the lovely sort of clamshell style armor really chunky power armor on these they look fantastic they remind me of the stormcast legs i think it's this knee armor here and then we have The cloak and skull up here. Oh, the skull appears to be a two-piece. We might have a lovely mold line to deal with on there then when we put it together. The foot obviously has to be on a rock, doesn't it? This may have, Was this the first one on a rock? And there's her breastplate there. Fantastic. I love this, this edge work here. I don't know what sort of grenade that is. If someone can let us know in the comments below, we would appreciate it. And again, here is that skull. And last but not least is Shang, or was it Sheng, the bird dragon thing, who I think is fantastic. Why it's perched on there, screaming just like the seagulls outside my window at the moment. Am I the only person with seagull issues at the moment? Because they are a real pain, but I digress. Anyway. So there we are, that is the sprue. Very detailed, very, very lovely. Really looking forward to getting this put together and painted. Oh, just before I go, Someone did mention once what these little nub things were on the sprue. I think someone said they were quality marks, which I can't quite remember. I'll have to get back to you on that. I think they're like quality check times. I think this has probably been checked three times, perhaps. I think that's what it meant. I may be wrong. If so, I do apologize. Fantastic. One of the nicest miniatures I've seen in a long, long time. Well, I certainly think this is a fantastic miniature and I recommend it. If you want to see more unboxing videos, you can click the playlist up here somewhere. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.